Hey guys, it's Andrew from 510 Books. It is Sunday, March 13th, 2022. I finished my third day of this week's sale, which is my 10th week of being open weekly. And <clears throat> this Sunday was the best Sunday I've done in all 10 Sundays since opening weekly. Yay. Last weekend, last Sunday was actually the second best. I look back at all of them. It was the second best by a couple of bucks. There was another one that was a couple dollars away about a month ago. But yeah, the last two Sundays have been really good. <clears throat> Reason why? Not because I had a lot of people, but because both Sundays I had uh, one person, actually today I had two people, but last uh, Sunday I had a person spend a good amount of money and today I had two people spend a good amount of money. One person on records, and another person on who bought almost 30 records, another person who bought um, over 80 CDs. So those two sales boosted the numbers big time, but you know, it doesn't matter, right? I mean, it does, hold on, I'll come back to that. You know, I, I wanna have great sales on one side, but on the other side, I wanna have more people coming. I'd rather have both, ideally, <laughs> big sales, uh, people spending more money per person and more people. But um, I got half of that equation the last Sunday and this Sunday. So Sundays are just slower in general. And I've said this ever since I started uh, vlogging every day. And it made me think today about uh, whether I should continue with Sunday. And if you look at, I look back at all the Sundays, the 10 Sundays I've been open, um, <clears throat> since I went weekly with my local sale and the majority of them are pretty low. They're all, they're all low in terms of the amount of people that show up. There was a couple of Sundays actually I had as many as I think 17 people was my, the most people I had on one Sunday. Um, but yeah, but the, the overall sales numbers are, are lower because there's less people. But uh, I was just thinking, oh, maybe I should close Sundays and open Thursdays and see how that goes. The other thing is for me, because um, I, I don't have Saturday or Sunday off, it's tough with the family. Uh, and so what I'm probably gonna end up doing is um, looking to hire somebody else to take over <clears throat> Saturdays and Sundays. Even though my sales overall uh, for all three days are not quite where I want them to be to have somebody working, it would be just the two days instead of Friday. I would still continue to do Friday. Um, and they would be working essentially, I think it was about 16 hours. So I would still, even after paying them and, and setting aside money to pay taxes, I would still uh, make a profit. It just clearly wouldn't be as much as I would like to make. Um, but it would still be a profit. <laughs> and it would still cover, this is based upon uh, you know, how I've been, how the sales have been going over the weekend, but, um, and it would still cover the, uh, the cost of the space. So that's good, right? It's like, um, you know, training somebody for the long term to kind of talking myself into this, but this is what I'm going to do. Uh, training somebody for the long term to be able to run it, the sale on the weekend. And I can come in if I need to, if it gets really busy or which is where I'm of course headed. Um, and I can go to my kids' soccer games and do other things with the family, things that need to be done at, at the house. Uh, you know, never have time to, <laughs> to do things like that. Um, so like this next Saturday, because I don't have, currently I don't have somebody to work, uh, I'm gonna have to close the store for about an hour and a half to two hours on Saturday, one of my better days, um, because my son's gonna have his first soccer game and I don't wanna miss it. Uh, yeah, and so I'm going to be kind of uh, pushing to find somebody uh, to start working here Saturdays and Sundays, but of course it's going to take time. Um, but yeah, but somebody bought, today somebody spent, um, or I should say, bought over 80 CDs and then someone else bought almost 30 records, which is awesome. And the more records people buy, the more I continue to realize that I need to add a lot more records um, to my stock because it's just slowly starting to thin out. I still have a lot of records. I'm talking, I don't know, all told, I probably have at least 
It's hard to tell exactly. Probably at least a thousand, maybe more. You tell me. How many records do I have? <laughs> there's a lot. And there's more up there. <clears throat> there's a couple crates on the floor. There's another crate over here. So it's a lot of records. Maybe it's more like, I don't know, over a thousand. But anyway, um, and I'm going to uh, be purchasing more records. So that won't be an issue, hopefully. Uh, but I'm just seeing a lot of interest in records, as well as CDs. With him buying all those CDs, I realized I might have to buy <clears throat> a couple more Gaylords so I can continue to have the supply. Because it's not quite getting the supply from um, where, I, where I've been going the last couple of weeks. Not yet, anyway. We will see. But those are side notes. Um, but yeah, today was a really good Sunday. But the sort of the balance between wanting to make more profit with my local sale and freeing up time for personal stuff as well as business stuff like oh I don't have to work here you know the 16 hours on the weekend or at least not all of the hours um, and so I can spend time with family do stuff like that as well as oh I want to go pick up you know a couple hundred records or go make this blu-ray buy or this video game buy on the weekend so I actually have time to do that versus always trying to fit it in during the week when most people are working a nine to five kind of schedule and then I'm not available most late afternoons and evenings because of stuff with the family and the kids and whatnot um, I'm only only available in the morning until the early afternoon so there's other things to consider that could be good for the business and it's always of course healthy to have the balance the life and the uh, work balance, work and the life balance, life and the work, whatever. Uh, so that was the sacrifice I made when I went from monthly to weekly with my sale as I wanted to grow this business. I knew that I couldn't really grow it to where it could potentially be just having it monthly. I had to go weekly. I had to go weekly to go from three days, being open three days to being open 12 days a month. Um, and now, you know, there's just a lot of benefits to have somebody working here uh, beyond just business benefits. And also I can, I can work more on the business, um, like fit in some time to, you know, tweak marketing and advertising and, and things like that. Um, but yeah, but it's going to take time to hire somebody else because the previous person I hired was uh, not a stranger, somebody that I knew. So... Um, you know, hiring somebody that I don't know at all is going to probably uh, take a little bit longer. So anyway, those are all things going through my head. Hold on one second. And um, what else? So today was great <laughs> in terms of sales, not in terms of the amount of people, but in terms of the um, sales numbers. Those were good. Um, looking around, what else did I do? Oh, right. So I prepared, uh, I have my little box of records I prepared for next week, Blu-rays and video games. So those are all set up. I've got a box of books to put out. I've got plenty of other books. And like I said, I am going to really go at it with the books because, as you may be able to see, there's some little space freeing up here and there, down there, up there. So I'm going to get pretty uh, intense with the books and also free this up. People bought some graphic novels, which is always great. My graphic novel selection has grown a lot. People bought some vintage classic books. People not buying so many of the fiction books, um, but I'm just going to have to start pulling some books that have been sitting for like six months, eight months, a long time and uh, put out new stuff. Because there's just not, I don't have an issue finding books. That's not a problem. Um, it's always, you know, like I've said before, it's always the other stuff that's harder to get. The books are easier to find. Um, they're plentiful. So even if I pull 20 fiction books that have been sitting out a long time, I can put about 20 others. And there's 20 others that are going to come down the pipeline soon. So this is me kind of convincing myself because I don't like just pulling a book because it hasn't sold. But I've got to keep turning over, to a certain degree, turn over the book inventory. Um, number one, so that I have fresher uh, 
selection for repeat, repeat customers and well, anybody in general when I get good stuff in. And number two, so that I can stop collecting books where I store them in the bathroom there and start, I have boxes stacked up and, and start putting those out because why are they going to sit there? It makes more sense to circulate them in and get rid of stuff that hasn't sold. That's just how it's going to be. Um, because I see, it's funny because I see like the guy that bought CDs today, he bought a certain artist that doesn't sell a ton of, ton, uh, I don't sell a ton of usually on the CD side, but he bought like a dozen or 15 of, of, of that artist's CDs. And if I had said, oh, I'm just going to sell them on eBay, then, you know, he wouldn't have had that selection. Of course, CDs are a little different because I have more space and they're smaller, et cetera, et cetera. So those are easier to keep around. Um, books are all different sizes. They're bigger, they're heavier. So it's a little bit of a different animal, but you kind of get the gist of it, right? Um, so yeah, so I'm really enjoying, that's the thing, the more I work on this local side, the more I start to understand it and how to run the retail space and, and sort of balancing, putting out new stuff, getting rid of old stuff. What do people want? What do people not want? So that's become kind of fun, figuring out that puzzle. And oh, and today, this morning, I was late opening up the store, but nobody was here to come shopping. That's not true, somebody was. Um, but he was more stopping by to, to talk, but he didn't buy something. But um, I was late because I, the time changed and I, we didn't change our clocks. And so I was meeting somebody at nine o'clock to buy 50 Blu-rays, which I did, by the way, just for 50 bucks. And there's some great stuff in there. So those are gonna be awesome Blu-rays to add to my back stock, um, which is like the most exciting thing to me now for local sale is getting back stock. <laughs> Oh, as long as I keep finding, you know, more video games, more Blu-ray, more records, the harder stuff to get, uh, you know, finding them at a good price, then I'm happy <laughs> in regards to my local sale. Um, also, the other thing, okay, so that was good. I bought that. The other thing that I was thinking, hiring somebody, is that on Sundays, <clears throat> you know, I'm paying them, I will pay them to be working for, what, seven hours on Sunday, because I'm open 10 to 10 to 4, they get here half an hour early, about a half an hour after to close, etc. Um, so about seven hours. And, you know, today I only had eight customers. Sometimes I only have 10 or 12. I mean, I don't have that many customers. So they will have some downtime. So I'm thinking how to, things that they can do to keep busy. Well, maybe after a certain time, uh, they can start putting out new stuff, right? Where I can give them, give them some stuff to go through and organize uh, for the next week. But restocking can be a big uh, a big deal because so few people come out on Sunday, especially, well, they come in different times, but, um, you know, they can basically put out all the new, the new records, excuse me, um, video games, etc., all that stuff. And even if a few people buy some of that stuff, it's okay. I can just add a few more, but the fact that most of it would be put out would be really helpful as well. Because that was the thing that was hard with my first employee was that, you know, I was working on Sunday and it was dead. And it was basically, I was, you know, the little bit of money that was coming in on Sunday was just paying for him. But, you know, if I can get some help for the next week, uh, it'll make sense. So, good day today of sales. <clears throat> if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I talk all about, on this channel, I talk about reselling, my reselling journey, my entrepreneurial journey selling books and media locally as well as on ebay and amazon and other videos that have to do with that so definitely subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video stay safe take care